Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Theojo Tech, and if you've been following YouTube at all, you may have known that there have been a lot of YouTubers who have been getting hacked recently, and it seems like these hackers are basically using social engineering to even get into people's cell phone and mobile accounts and then using their own cell phone number and taking it and using that to get into their accounts through recovery, through SMS, even if they have two-factor authentication enabled. So I wanted to go over a video maybe as like a PSA and talk about how you can secure your YouTube and Google accounts even against someone stealing your phone number and that's what I'm going to talk about today. So in the past I've always advocated using two-factor authentication on your Google accounts, all accounts, because it will protect you if someone even steals your password, they won't be able to get that code from your phone. But it seems like in some of these high profile attacks, these hackers are going to great lengths to social engineer and even take over cell phone accounts. So even if you have that two factor authentication enabled, then they can still get access to their account by recovering it and stealing their SIM card. So how can you protect against that? There is a way actually. You see, the cool thing about Google accounts is you can actually use several different methods as two factor authentication. And a lot of times, a cell phone text message is not the most secure, and in these other cases of YouTubers getting hacked, it's actually making them more unsecure. So if you're at high risk, what I would actually recommend you do is not use your cell phone as a two-factor authentication method, but rather use a Google Authenticator type app where it generates a code as a physical token. It's just generated in the app, so even if someone steals your cell phone number, it wouldn't help because those codes are not sent to your phone, they're on your phone already. But this also means you would have to remove your phone number as a two-factor authentication method altogether and also remove your phone number as an account recovery option so that even if someone gets your phone number, it won't help them access your account. If you're curious about how these authenticator apps work, it's basically very similar to those keychain dongles that you can get that generate a code and obviously those aren't connected to anything. What you usually do is when you go to set up your account on a Google Authenticator app or Authy is another good one, you basically tie them together. You tell Authy, all right, this is the algorithm we're gonna use to generate tokens from now on and then both your Google account and the Authy app know that algorithm so it's gonna generate the same codes over time so then it knows, okay, this is the same app that's generating the tokens that I interacted with at first, but you don't have to keep that connection open. So you can actually install Google Authenticator or Authy on a phone that doesn't have an internet connection at all, but still use those generated tokens continuously to access your account because the generated tokens are not required to use an internet connection. They're generated on the app itself, if that makes sense. Now, instead of Google Authenticator, I would actually recommend Authy. It's better for a couple reasons. You see, with Google Authenticator, you can add all your accounts and then it's only on your phone. But if you wipe your phone or lose your phone or something like that, you lose all those code generator tokens. So because you can't use your phone number, then you're basically screwed. But with Authy, you can actually back up your codes encrypted so that if you do lose your phone or you wanna load it onto another device, you can verify your phone number and then download that database, but it's not insecure because even if someone were to steal your phone number and then download your Authy account, they can't use it because it's encrypted with a password. So you still are backing it up, but it's encrypted, so it's still safe. It's totally useless to anyone without the password, assuming you're using a strong password. So you kind of get the best of all worlds. You can use Authy to generate secure physical tokens. So even if someone steals your phone number, they're not gonna get those codes because they're tied to your actual physical phone. You can also back them up in case you lose your phone. And even if someone does happen to steal your phone number and try to download that database, they won't be able to get those codes because they're all encrypted with a passcode and there's no way to recover that account, by the way, there's no way to recover the backup. You have to use the code. It's encrypted, that's how it works. So basically, in summary, if you want maximum security for your Google account, this is what you need to do. Don't use your phone number as a two-factor authentication method and don't have it as a recovery option because if someone social engineers and really wants into your account, they'll get your phone number and then use that to recover your account or log in. Next, you do wanna have two-factor authentication enabled 
in the form of a physical token generator such as Google Authenticator or Authy, the app that I mentioned, because that way you're not getting codes as a text message, they're already on your phone. Even if someone steals your SIM card, they can't get those codes because they're just on your phone. And finally, I didn't mention this one before, but you definitely wanna set up some sort of passcode or PIN with your phone company. It should add a little bit of protection, even if they're social engineering, it's a little bit more difficult for them to get access to your account. Hopefully, if the person at the cell company does their job, they won't be able to get in with that account, or at least it'll be more difficult, and you'll be able to find out about it sooner. I should also finally mention that you can actually use Authy and Google Authenticator on other websites besides Google accounts. Any website that supports two-factor authentication with a token generator, you can use it on those as well. So definitely recommended. But on websites like Twitter, where you have two-factor authentication that's only usable with a phone number, if you're really high profile, you might be better off just setting a really good password with no two-factor authentication because then they can't get your phone number and steal your Twitter account. It's just they have to know the password. So if you do all that, I think you should be safe. Again, this is really only for people who are at the highest risk possible that might be individually targeted or if you're just paranoid in general, this should keep you safe. Or at least you would think so. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And also let us know down in the comment section, maybe if you have other security techniques that you think other people would benefit from, definitely let us know. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think it should be worth it. Looking forward to hearing from you guys, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.